Passengers avoided injury on an Amtrak southbound train today when it smashed into a truck crossing the tracks. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kat Villianzoni. And I'm Ike Ben David. Darren is off. Adam Sullivan spoke with a passenger who is on board. The collision took place here on the quarry road in Sharon a little before noon. The driver of a flatbed trailer hauling stone was leaving a quarry on the other side of the tracks. I was just getting ready, putting my coat on because we were near the junction. Karen Clayton boarded the train in Waterbury for what she thought would be an uneventful trip to White River Junction to visit her boyfriend. But the ride unexpectedly came to a halt. I heard a boom and we all kind of jerked and uh, some screaming and then we stopped. You could smell something burning. According to police, 62 year old Michael Delaney of Leicester, Massachusetts was crossing the tracks when the trailer he was pulling was clipped by the southbound train. The trailer itself was ripped from the rig, which remarkably did not appear to be scratched. The trailer's cargo, stone from the nearby Black River Quarry, was strewn about. The train with dozens of passengers and five crew members came to a stop roughly a quarter mile down the tracks. It wasn't really panic and, and there, was, there was parents with children around so they were trying to remain calm. Um, but there was a lot of wondering what's going on, what's going on. Uh, and then they came over the loudspeaker and explained. At this time, we do not know why the collision took place. The quarry road, which is just off Route 14, was covered in snow at the time of the crash. An engine from the south was diverted to pull the train from the scene as quarry employees worked to clear the debris from the tracks. The driver of the flatbed trailer declined an on-camera interview. However, he told me he was feeling okay. State and federal authorities will be taking part in the investigation. Reporting from Sharon, Adam Sullivan, Channel 3 News.